Well, hello everyone. Um, it's Darren Strange again. I'm the um, product manager in the UK for the 2007 Microsoft Office system. And uh, this blogcast I wanted to use uh, to teach you a little bit about OneNote 2007. Um, I used to use OneNote 2003, um, but I really have found 2007 has um, breathed a whole new uh, lease of life to this application. There's some fantastic new uh, functionality here, some new capabilities, and I just wanted to uh, take some time to show you how I'm using it at the moment. Um, so let's get going. So one of the first things that you'll see here is that we've introduced this idea of multiple notebooks. And this is really, really useful for being able to structure your notes a bit better. So I used to find that uh, my notes, once you got past a certain point of having too many notes, it did get a little bit more difficult to structure. Um, now it's very straightforward. You can have notebooks for different aspects of your life. So for example, I've got here um, classes which are, are used to store all the lectures and classes that I go to and so on. I've got work projects um, and personal things here as well. So you can really kind of keep that a bit more structured. Um, you can also expand this chevron here so you can start to see everything in this tab down, uh, this pane, sorry, down the side. And uh, if you really want, you can also click on this button down here, which shows you all your notebooks and all the sections. Um, so just to summarize that though, we've got within a notebook, you've got multiple sections which relate to these tabs here along the top. And in each of those sections, you have pages. Um, you can also have folders still from uh, the same as in 2003. So for example, in my classes, I've got a folder here of sections uh, where I've kept all the lectures I went to at the Tech Ready conference um, a while back. So you've got all those different ways of, of uh, structuring your notes. And I found that to be a lot more useful. Um, I'll show you how you can drag and drop notes between those as we go through. Um, but that's uh, one key difference that we've got. now. How do you create a new notebook? OK, so uh, you can do that with File New, obviously, or you can use this note, new uh, drop down here. Now, just to show you this, um, there's a few different types of notebooks. If I just create a test. Now, you can also create templates, uh, which is new. You can create your own templates as well so that you can use those again and again. There's all sorts of different ones here, which just have different sections and, and, uh, and pages already set up for you. If I go ahead and click Next, though, there's a couple of new options here. You can create a notebook just for yourself, or you can use it between multiple computers. This is great if you happen to have a laptop and a desktop PC, and you want to use the same notebook on both. Um, any changes you make on one uh, automatically get synced up with the other, the other computer. So you're always working off the same shared notebooks. That's a really, really great feature. And better than that, you can even share a notebook with multiple people. So you can use a notebook to share across uh, every person in your team. Um, every person perhaps could have, take a different section and add their notes there. Really great way of working with other people. So that will just um, either share that notebook on a server or create a share on your local machine. And then each person who connects to that, you can send them an email with a link, um, all automatic. And they will get a local version of that. Uh, they can take that online and offline. And make changes to it when they're offline. When they come back online, those all get synced up. So just a really great way to collaborate. Um, I might do another blogcast on that another time, uh, but that's uh, all I'm going to say on that just in this particular edition. So multiple notebooks, very good thing. So I um, will show you more of that as we go through, but I really want to talk today mostly about the integration uh, that there is between uh, OneNote 2007 and some of the other apps in the Office release. So. Um, let's start with uh, showing you some, some Outlook integration. So in Outlook here, um, you can see I, I've got uh, I've just got a dummy mailbox set up here just to show you this. But if I go to um, my calendar, supposing I'm going along to a meeting. Um, here's a meeting here in my, car, my, my diary here. You get this new button here, notes about this item. So I can click that, and that creates a page in my OneNote relating to that meeting. Very, very useful. So now I can create all the notes that happen in that meeting, um, all the things we said, um, so all in one place. So I can say, um, perhaps one of the actions there was to uh, meet up for a coffee with Chris. And uh, I can mark that very easily um, with a task. So there's this new button here. Now you can select that task to be any day. Uh, I'm just going to make it today. And it creates this this flag here that you see uh, there. Now, if I go back into my Outlook view, and um, you can see here on the uh, to-do bar, if I just open this up, 
um, that there will be meet up for coffee with Chris here in the to-do bar. So that's really great. You can use your notes, um, capture the actions, and start to schedule them um, in your to-do bar. Of course, then you can see that in the calendar view. You could drag that into your calendar and create time to get that, that task done. So very, very easy to do that. Now, I can also um, just click on this and mark to complete. So I'm just going to do that now. So that's that uh, action complete, and we'll go back to that a bit later on. But while I'm in my inbox, um, I just wanted to show you some other integration. So for example, um, here's an email from Chris. And uh, I'm just going to um, use this button here, send to OneNote. And that will send that email into a note in OneNote. So I can start to now really work with this. and. Um, I can click on the pen there. I can either use the keyboard or I can I can start to say uh, you know make make notes to myself here. and so on. Um, very, very easy to do. So that, that enables me to just work on on things that uh, start in an email and perhaps um, need some some extra additional note taking on there too. Um, some other integration um, in in the contacts section. So here I am in contacts, and here's a lovely picture of Chris, looking very jolly as always. And uh, I can select him and just make notes about about him. So we can start to um, create a database here. You can see I've already created some notes about him, and I can uh, continue to do that. And uh, so maybe uh, Chris would be great for the job. I don't know, something like that. And I can create all those notes. So you see, what I'm trying to show you is that it's very easy for you to keep track of these notes, either by the person you met. Sometimes it's important to do that. Easy to think about uh, the notes in relation to a meeting you met with a person, or in relation to an entry in your calendar, or just flexibly within the structure that you've set up within your notebooks. So just to show you how you can drag and drop these items, now that I've got a few things here, you can see it's actually created these in the unfiled notes which you can reach by clicking that button here down in the, do in the bottom left. Um, and I'll show you a couple of ways that you can move that now that I've got some notes. So one really easy way is just to pick up the page here and drag it in and drop it onto one of the other sections, so say demos like that. Um, another way to do that would be, so here's another this other note we created here um, that we did earlier on. I can now also just right click and do move page to has sections you've used or another section if you want to add them all in like that. I can move that very easily like that. Um, so there you can see I've moved that now. Um, and you can move that back into the demo slot now. I'm just going to go back actually and move that meeting item as well. Um, so you can see, just see that one more time. Move that into demos. And then if I go back to my demos tab here, uh, you should see that there. So that's that meeting. Now, I did um, click that meeting request as complete. And so you can see the little tick there that's turned up against that. So that's the Outlook task integration working there again. Now, I've moved that uh, meeting um, notes around. I've moved the notes about Chris around. But if I'm back in my calendar, um, I can still use this button here. And it will still go and find. Uh, that uh, page in the demos tab now, and uh, it won't create a new one. It just continues to keep that link between the notes about that person, and uh, the same as it applies to the meeting as well. So I can go in here, back to that calendar item, wherever it was. Here we are, and if I click that, it'll go and find the notes about that that meeting. So it's just provided a really nice uh, way to integrate. And the tasks that I'm working on, the calendar that I'm working to, and the people that I know with the notes that I'm using as well. And um, so that's one terrific piece of integration. Now, you can also do some other things, like um, from uh, OneNote, uh, you will also integrate with uh, the browser. So here I am in the browser. Again, you get this button here, Send to OneNote. If I click that, that'll send that whole page um, into my OneNote. And here you can see it is uh, just pasted in there. So that's great. I can um, uh, go ahead and, and start making notes about the SKUs for the 2007 release. So, you know, um, you can see I'm really interested in maybe one of these SKUs here. I can just write some notes. Um, and uh, 
you know, make notes on those. And, and of course, if that was in a shared notebook, you'd be possibly sharing that with other people or with your other computer. So that's some very easy way to do integration from IE. Um, let me show you some integration with some of the other apps in Office as well. Um, I'll just go back to uh, this demo page here. So supposing um, in this meeting I, there were some documents that, were that we were talking about, so I can easily paste those in. So here's a, a document here. I can simply copy that document there and paste it right into that note. And we can paste that in a few ways. We can either paste it in um, as a copy, uh, so that embeds the file like that. So it's a very easy way to keep all the documents about the meeting uh, in a simple and straightforward way. Um, or another way you can do that is um, to actually paste it in as a printout. So um, I can show you that from within the Word document this time. Let's just um, let's try this document here. Just open Word. Let that open. There we are. Um, so this is the new, if you haven't seen it by the way, the new um, Beta 1 Tech Refresh of Word. Um, and you have this new button here um, instead of the file menu now. And I can select print here. That brings up the print dialog. And what you see is that there's a, a new printer that gets added, which is the OneNote import printer. So I can uh, select that, and I'm just going to put in the first, and then let's do pages three to five. And that will print that into my OneNote notebook. So you can see there's that document, and it's printed those pages. That's another really useful way that I can uh, integrate with Word. And of course, um, I can start to, you know, select my pen and and start writing notes here. And uh, that provides that's the same within Excel and those other apps as well. And uh, you know you can do all of those those things as well. So um, it shows you a, a nice way you can integrate with those other apps as well. Um, so just some other uh, quick things as well. So um, if I was wanting to uh, use hyperlinks, this is a new thing that we've done here, so any page at all you can right click that, you can actually select a paragraph as well within the page copy that hyperlink and then in any other note, say this one here I can just paste that in anywhere in the notes So, and that creates that link, so if I click on that now it'll be straight back to that page, so that creates a really easy way um, to link between pages in your notebook so that's very powerful. Another new thing we've added is tables. So if you're collecting, talking to somebody perhaps and you, you, you're building some sort of tabular data, it's very easy to kind of create a bit more structure around that. So you can do uh, this where you can say, um, I don't know, feature, press, just press the tab key and it creates that into a table. Um, and you could create a tab like this, um, I don't know, And you can work with, with that just as you can with other tables. Um, you can highlight columns and uh, do things like this where you can insert rows above tables and so on, uh, columns and so on, and uh, start to, to work with that. So very, very good way just to structure your thought um, uh, there. You can obviously um, move that around and, and use that very flexibly as well. And just to show you some other things uh, we've got here, we've got a built-in calculator now, so it will it'll calculate functions you type in. So if you're just doing some quick sums, like um, you know, 60 times, oops, times 450 equals enter, and it will work that number out for you. So that's a really handy little thing, and that has all the normal functions you'd expect on calculators as well, including you know mathematical functions. Um. Now, I just want to show you the lasso function, so just to set that up, I'll just draw something. Um, so, let's see, let's have a nice smiley face. Now, if I want to select that, we've, we've added this lasso feature here, it's been um, requested many times. So, you just select that, and then you can lasso around an area of the screen like that, which enables you to select it, and perhaps move it around, copy and paste it, 
and do all those things like that. Um, so that's a, a really handy addition as well. Um, one last thing around the um, ability to search, we've added this um, optical character recognition feature now and this is terrific, really quite smart. So if I take a screenshot like this, so this is actually a picture, okay, this isn't just um, text, it's, it's, it's an image, um, I can search for a phrase like uh, agenda here which you can see in the slide and just search for that and it highlights the uh, the hit there and uh, it will either search that section or the whole notebook or all my notebooks uh, to help me find that. It'll even, you know, it'll find uh, smaller notes as well, so let's pick a smaller word like perhaps um, copy. Oh, it's finding that in my in my uh, the rest of the notebook. Oops, let's just go back to that. Uh, let's try. You can also select um, how much of it you want it to search. So just this section, or the whole group, or your whole notebook, uh, just by doing that. Now you see it's found the, the, the word paste there in the graphic as well. So that's very powerful and that would work with photos as well and as the resolution on, on cameras, camera phones um, gets better as well, um, you, you can even take pictures of things with your phone and sync those up with uh, OneNote Mobile and find those in the uh, search function as well. So there's some very powerful applications and I think we'll probably come back and demo that um, another day. So just a quick run through really. Uh, and one last thing just on, on searching, uh, sorry, saving uh, documents and sending them to other people. Um, there's a number of different ways we can do that. Um, on the file menu here, you can see you can publish this as a PDF or as an XPS file. The XPS file is the XML paper specification. This is the thing formerly known as Metro and uh, enables you to uh, save the document that you've created uh, exactly in the layout and exactly with the right fonts and color palette and so on precisely as it would look um, on the screen. So um, that's a fully XML um, described format as well, so you can use that in very flexible ways. You can also, of course, send the page um, into Word or you can, you can mail it to people and uh, all those things as well. So it was just a quick run through. I really just wanted to highlight some of the great things that we've got in OneNote 2007. It really has changed some of the way that I work, especially with the integration with Outlook and with the other Office applications. It's a great way to just be able to think things through um, in a very kind of idle way and then easily structure those and take them through into tasks and share those with other people. So I hope you found that useful. Um, do uh, look out for OneNote 2007 and uh, I hope you'll, uh, you're as excited as me about that and we'll start to use it. Thanks very much.